Welcome to the adventures of Silverbeard the Wanderer. Now we're still at the bottom of the 7,000 steps and I'm not going to count them so there's no point pretending that. We're just going to see what we've got in the way of weapons. We've got an Imperial Sword. I think we're okay there. Just check. Let's see what we've got. Yep, yeah, got some fire. So we're going to start the ascent. So here we go. Probably going to be huffing and puffing by the time we get to the top. So let's keep an eye out here. What's this? Etch tablet. Before the birth of men, the dragons ruled all of Mundus. Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for, for their true needs, for the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. Oh. And what was that? Oh, oh there's a wolf coming down here chasing the sheep. But so, just gonna take all. You're right behind me, Lydia. Just going to go up here, keep our eyes open because it says there's wolves up here. So, oops, a daisy. And I presume it would be random spawns of, of bodies. I might be running, so maybe we we'll need to let her keep up with me. So, so we're just going to climb the mountain. There's the goats, I think they're mountain goats. So we're just going to come up here. Looks like just fell towards us. It's a nice trip, I mean, it's a nice view from up here, if nothing else. Look at that, down onto. Was it a girl? Oh, that must be the barrow. We've got a task for here. We've also got a task, miscellaneous task, which I picked up because I explored the village um, before. I don't know who you are, but go read these. This tablet. Emblem two. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The drags, dragons preside over the crawling masses. Men were, were weak then and had no voice. Nope, he's wandered off. So. I we couldn't have had much to say. Yeah, I, before I started the recording, I actually had a wander around and I picked up a, I think it was a, a random thing. I think it might be a miscellaneous or, yeah, Kimmerick supplies. I've got to deliver those to the top. So, we're going to... Uh, Deliver those. I don't know what we're going to get for it, but oh, I've got attacked by a nice wolf, and it's going to roll over the edge. No, it's not. Nearly lost the ice wolf there. that's the worst of what we're going to do. There's some snowberries here, so we're going to kind of come up here. We're getting up into the snow line now. Wolf belt. Don't lag behind me, lady. I want you in the front line. that so, no, anything we can click, click on nope so we're just gonna come up here oh what have we got here tablet emblem three the fledgling spirits of men were strong in the old times unafraid of to war with the dragons and their voices the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. So, oh, sorry. What 
I take huh? the bowl? No. That's an offering, so if I leave it. Don't like need the money, so. And we're up in the snow now. Just coming here, following the goat. So it's a goat. Still behind Lydia. Off. I haven't needed you at the moment, but I think you we might need you in the future or something. Just keeping an eye out for what's going on around here. bit of a practice guys. Oh, who have we got here? Who are you? Keep an eye out. What do you want, Imperial? Who are you? Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that if you don't mind. What are you doing? Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Okay, well, I'm quite happy to. Until next time. Leave you where you are, but if you don't mind me pushing by to emblem number four, Kine was called to Parathmax, who pitied man. Together they taught men to use the voice. Then dragon war waged, dag dragon against tongue. So. <sighs> Going up the steps, going higher and higher. Mm. Don't like this. This looks like ambush territory, so we're going to do a quick save. Let's we'll see if we can. Yep, there's an ice troll up there. You ready, Lydia? Coming down. I'm going to retreat a bit. She's getting stuck in. Good, not good. Is there any way around? That was one swipe and I was down. Yep, here he comes. Target, you run round, Lydia. <laughs> potions, potions, potions. About near death experience. Tro troll fat. Is that all I get for that? How are you, Lydia? And now I've got no idea where which direction we're going in. I presume this is the. That was 
two emblem five men prevailed shouting aldrin out of the world proving that all the voice was too strong although their sacrifices were many fold so <laughs> that was too close for comfort guys too close for comfort that was awesome to be honest Gonna run into any more? Considering this early in the game, and that's the type of quest anyone would follow. That was quite a a challenge. So I don't know what we get for. Still there, Lydia? Yep. E. Emblem Six, with roaring tongues, the Sky Children conquer, fat conquer, founding the first empire with sword and voice. Whilst the dragons withdrew from this world, I think this is a kind of a little bit of a backstory of of the conflict between men and dragons. I like that wind effect though. That's almost like the kind of whiteout effect of the snow blowing over over the mountains. So what do we have here? E. Why won't this one? Oh no, just need to be a bit closer. Emblem 7. The tongues of the Red Mountain went away humbled. Jurgen Windcaller began his seven year meditation Understand how strong, to understand how strong the vo voices could fail. So. Yes, 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 yes. Emlyn, five, six, seven, eight. When Jurgen Windcaller chose silence and returned, the seven dis disputants could not shout him down. Jurgen, Jurgen the Calm built his home in the throat of the world, which is where we are now. So, still with us, Lydia? Away we go. That rash on the roof of the world. I always like to go to the roof of the world. That's Tibet in no. Love to kind of walk the mountains of Tibet. I wonder if they're like this. Probably cold though. Oh, there's another one here. Read the tablet. Emlyn nine. For years all silent the greybeard spoke no one spoke one name. Tiber Septim Stripling who was summoned to Hogra. They blessed his name and called him Dum Duvarkin. So, this is it. Oh, there's one more. And this is the roof of the world. High Hogra discovered. E. Emblem 10. The voices worship. Follow the inner path and speak only in true need. But what have we got? Voice of the sky added. What we know is voice of the sky. Must be magic in effects or something. Active effects. Voice of the sky. Animals will neither attack nor a bit late now. Could have done with that on the way up. Especially against that troll. Then again, trolls would probably overtake the potion of magicka. Final magicka. I presume we can take this stuff, but. So we shouldn't be looting the shrine to but we'll take the ingredients, I'm not too worried about the I think this is the chest, yep, where we've got to leave. Supply store. So we've got to com complete that. We've got to go back to Kemrick, but we'll probably do that on the way back. 
just to get that quest completed. Right. Where are you, Lydia? Are you up? Up here? Up here, boy? We're going in here now. Hopefully no one is going to attack us. Is there anything in these vases? No. So, oh. A dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. You call me dragonborn. What does this map mean? First, let us see if you truly are dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Oh, so... Well, you want it, mate. You're going to get it. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? Who are you? What is this place? Who are you and what is we this place? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. I am answering your summons, we are Master. to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. What is my destiny? That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. I am ready to. Uh, I want to find out what it means we to be are dragonborn. Here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You mean I'm not I am not the only dragon You're not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. I am ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thune, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, a second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. What do I do? I press it? You learn a new word like a monster. You truly do have the gift. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Does that effect again? Demonstrate that. Use your unrelenting force by attacking. Shout to strike the targets as they appear. Yee 
guy behind. Sorry guys. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Well done. Again. Keep hitting the guy there. Maybe I should aim there. Maybe it's not fair to keep hitting the same guy over and over again. Oh, hit both of them that time. Use both boost and roll. Together they will make the shout more powerful. Is that it? Use both words if you can. Does that mean what does it mean, both words? Yep, I've got it there. So. Use both boost and roll. Together they will make the shout more powerful. Well, that's what I'm doing. Why is it not going? I hit the first guy there hard enough. So why do I have to Boost. use both words if you can? I have to get closer. So Obviously, I've got to be closer. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. Show great promise, Dragonborn. So, so basically, for it to be really effective, they're going to be really up close. Your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Oh well, Morin. we live and learn. A lot to explore down here, but. Wander off. We're, we're probably going to be coming back here anyway, so don't think we need to explore just yet. Eek. We're back outside in the chill. Where is everybody? Where are we going? We going up there? Oh no, you're going that way. Master Bori will teach you Wolf, which means whirlwind. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. I've got to go magic shouts. It's like whirlwind. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then whirlwind sprint, water. eh? Master Bori. Rex. Wolf. 
Oh, that looks cool. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Wow. <laughs> that looks good. I like that. Your quick mastery of a new thune is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. I don't know how I do it, it just happens. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrau. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. So, do I really want to go through this? Are th there are only four of you. Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. Oh, that's some future things. Who was Jürgen Windcaller? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. What is the way of the voice? The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. I will try to follow the way of the that voice. That is commendable. But remember, the dragon blood is itself a gift of Akatosh. Do not try to deny that gift. Your destiny requires you to use your voice. Why else would Akatosh have bestowed this power upon you? If you remember to use your voice in service to the purpose of Akatosh, you will remain true to the way. Right, I think that's enough of that. Win. Got you. I think what I'm going to do now is drop a quick save here because we've got this. Um, got to return to Kimlik. I think we'll do that first. Get it out the way. Complete it. Um, map. So I think we're going to fast travel to Iverstead just to complete that minor quest. I'm not certainly not going to walk down the 7,000 steps. Oh, what the? You there. You're the one they call Dragonborn. I don't know what you're talking about. I fall on deaf ears, deceiver. We know you are the false Dragonborn. You shall not stand in the way of the true Dragonborn's return. He comes soon, and we shall offer him your heart. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Oh, for God's sake.
I think we might not be going to Invar Invested just yet. I think what we'll do is we'll go to White Shell if that white white run, I think. We can come back fast travel to White Run. Oh for God's sake. You there? You're the one they call Dragonborn. Yes, I am the Dragonborn, and I've come to kick your ass. The true Dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Time to die. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Items, get some potions in before I get killed. Um, don't know if any potions of mine. Mine are healing. I'm to my minor. Potion of minor healing. Oh, they got her. Thank you for that. Oh. Uh, take all of that. That's... That was obviously... Oh, cultist all papers. We'll take all of that. Um... So I'll just try to pick the body up. Careful with that. Um, And maybe we're no. Oops. Might as well clear up the trash. Good practice anyway. Uh, carrying things. I don't know whether I'm going to need it, but let's just get rid of the trash. Oh, in the water. Hello, Lydia. Um, I think we. How am I? Oh, I must have healed up. I've used up all those potions. I don't know how I managed to do that. I might have to. Um, right, what am I going to do? Oh, yeah. Items. There was a uh, something in here. Cultist orders. Oh, thank you. Board something something. Docked at Raven Rock. Take it to Windhelm. Then begin your search. Kill the false dragonborn. Vessel Northern Maiden. Docked at Raven Walk. Search and kill the false dragonborn known as Silverbeard before he reaches Solstein. That's a nice touch in the fact that the name is actually embedded in the message. Return for the word of your success. Right. Right, Lydia, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to what I was planning on doing. We're going to go to Inverstead. Because uh, so we sh shouldn't run into any of those um, cultists. And what we got to find is. Oops, no, nope, journal. Because I want to complete this miscellaneous return to Kimrick. Kimrick, so where are you, Kim? Kimrick, or wherever you are. Yeah, I wish. Ah, good to see you. I lift your supplies to High Harga. Quite a climb, wasn't it? Yep. Anyway, much appreciated. Here, take this for your troubles. Five hundred gold, very there. Right, thank you very much for that. Thanks again for the legwork. That completes that quest, and again, a bit sorry about the jumping backwards and forwards, guys, but... And I think we're going to just head back to White Run, and that's where I'm going to leave it. Because, obviously, we're going to have to do a bit of of maintenance, and no one's going to attack us now. 
Actually, what's up here? Aye, now that's some fine oh, armor. Just Good old defensive balls here. Right, let's have a quick look at what we accumulated. I seem to have got through all those potions. I thought I thought I had a lot more potions than that. Um, maybe fighting that other troll. Fighting trolls certainly consumes page things. Apparel. We've got a whole load of junk here, which we probably need to sell off. Um, Yep, and weapons, what we've got in the way of weapons, pickaxe, iron, dagger, fine sword, Nordic bow, ancient Nordic bow, woodcutter's axe, we've got loads of ingredients, any food, a bit of venison, books, um, what's that? Oh, heavy armour increased, should have read that before, so we've got a... Well, just have a slow flip through in case any of you guys want to pause and read this. So, doctors, letters from a friend, notes. Happy hunting. So, I think what we're going to do now is get out of here. What I'm going to do is we we picked up some hides, so I think what we can do is a bit more tanning. Just a leather. Yeah, we've got one wolf pelt. Leather. Five wolf pelts. So let's just turn these into leather and then we can turn that into kit. Um, do you want to create this item? Yes. Leather strips, do you want to create this? You're someone who can get things done. I like that. So what we can do now is just cut along here. Got some good pieces out um, here if you're looking to buy. More hide. We've got 19 strips and five pieces of leather. But what we'll do is we'll make some braces. Yeah, I mean. This is the end of the video guys, so if you if you don't want to watch this, feel free to kind of I call it an end. Um, see if Your we can sell it to her. My what have you got Keep for sale? Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Um, I mean what I will probably do is have these kind of things, the uh, banded iron sword, fur boots, get rid of that, hide boots, shield boots, iron armour of illusion. Hmm, where did that come from? Uh, value seven one thousand seven. Oh, I'm buying stuff. Oh, booger. <sighs> Bit of a fail there, guys. Take Sorry. A look. Colter's gloves, Colter's mask. Um, that could be useful if I wanted an armor boost, but. It's a pretty ugly thing to look at. No, I don't want to wear that. Four gauntlets, four shoes, hide boots. Self the hide boot braces. Hide shield. Yeah, we don't need that. Iron garment, storm cloak. Myself one of the storm cloak heart helmets. I think we can get rid of this now. I think we're I'm quite happy with this setup at the moment. Weapons, uh, we've got the f ancient that one there. We can get rid of that. Maybe I should have crafted it. Get rid of the iron daggers and the steel dagger. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Uh, Yep, so got that. Let's just trot up to here. That's Bree's home. That's somebody else's home. That might suit you. Let's see if we can pick up some more potions because I've run out of potions. I mean, this is part of the, the mundane of the game, or if you want to look at it that way. 
Take a look. But I, I quite enjoy this bit actually. Potions. Potion of health. Anyway, potion of minor healing. I only got one. Oh, I'm gonna be a bit tight. I'm gonna have to Come watch this. If you need a remedy. Actually, let's see if we can borrow your alchemy station. See if we can damage, stamina, damage, stamina. Nope. Yes. I think I'm gonna need to look at my ingredients. And I think I'll just look at the ingredients, guys, and then that will be it. Because I think I've ingredients. So a quick look down. Got that. Um, gonna eat that. Resist fire. Garlic. Yeah. Glowing mushrooms. Resist shock. Lavenders. Resist magic. Luna waff. Nightshade. It's probably poisonous. Damages health. Nimroot. Oh, brutal lightning damage. Store salt pile, skiver tail. We know that snowberries. Resist fire. We've got a lot of resisting fire, but the forex bug and troll fat. Resist poison, tundra cotton. Resist magic, and that's it. So we haven't really got anything that actually helps save. So we've got I offer remedies for ailments both common and rare. Um, Do just gonna pop outside so we can stand out in the fresh air. And um, that's where I'm gonna leave it, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. We, um, Silverbeard the Wanderer is now on the path. I think what we might do is a couple of minor quests now before we go off and deal with whether that guy is. Um, we follow the oops, no, journal, the Hall of Jurgen Windcaller, because that's probably liable to be a long quest. And we've got these, we've got Meat Fralia, we might be able to do that. And we've got this whole load of um, kind of errors there. I mean we might go back to Instagard and d investigate that bow bower I think if you look at that when we look at the map there's a there's a barrow over here so maybe we'll go and have a look at that Elgin Guardian Stones Bolt Falcon Reef there um, Shroud, Shroud Heath Barrow. Maybe we'll go over and have a look at that. And say so we'll just do a few minor quests. I think, yeah, I, I'm very much like, kind of, I don't like the minor quests to build up too much. Anyway, I've rambled on too long, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the episode and hope you will rejoin us with the adventures of uh, Silverbeard. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.